It was nice to see a good deal of sunshine across the area today. Temperatures in the upper 80s to right around 90. We've had a few showers and thunderstorms well off to the west. One tried to sneak through Louisa here earlier, but most of the activity has been along the I-81 corridor. Right now, we're standing at 85 degrees in Richmond. A little bit of cloud cover out there. That's going to diminish in coverage across the region later on tonight. A south to southwesterly breeze right now, about 10 miles an hour. So it is going to be a warm and rather muggy night. Most temperatures only dipping into the low 70s, but north and west, especially maybe a few rural areas down to the south and west may dip into the upper 60s briefly. A hot day for tomorrow and plenty of humidity as well. There'll be a greater chance we might see a shower thunderstorm coming in to central Virginia. Temperatures upper 80s and lower 90s. Here's the week ahead. And remember, I told you it's going to be a hot week. Our temperatures in the low and maybe mid 90s. Look at Thursday, likely to be the hottest. A little bit cooler weather due to checking to town sometime next weekend. Tonight, just going to see some clouds from time to time, maybe a patch or two of early morning fog, but pretty quiet tonight. As we go through tomorrow, we'll see a blend of sunshine and clouds. This is four o'clock in the afternoon. Notice a scattering of a few showers and thunderstorms. Again, the highest chance is going to be to the west, but we may see a few of these move across the I-95 corridor, especially during the evening and then even into the northern neck. They'll be isolated, but a few may produce a few uh, torrential downpours, and then the storms will be gone tomorrow night. As as we head into Tuesday, a good amount of sunshine. Rain chances very low, except way up in northwestern Virginia. Heading into Tuesday night, you notice a little line tried to come through here. There's a backdoor cool front that may slide into the northern part of the state. That could trigger a late night storm or maybe a storm uh, that's isolated, especially to our north on Wednesday. Otherwise, things will be somewhat quiet. All right, let's check in on the busy tropics. First of all, Marco right now is a category one storm winds at 75 miles an hour. It is tracking to the north northwest and expected to come along the Louisiana coast sometime late tomorrow afternoon into tomorrow evening. It may lose a little bit of its strength, but it's going to bring a lot of rain and wind to the Louisiana coast tomorrow. We mentioned last night that we may have a second landfall in the same general area. Uh, come Wednesday, and I'll show you that in just a moment. But this is the hurricane watch that's currently in effect. Now let's check in on Laura that is over the islands here on the southeastern tip of Cuba right now producing maximum sustained winds of 60 miles an hour. Because of its interaction with land, it's having trouble strengthening. However, it's eventually going to emerge in the southern Gulf of Mexico, and when that happens, it's expected to strengthen rapidly, could become a Category 2, maybe even a Category 3 storm, approaching once again the Louisiana or Texas coast sometime on Wednesday afternoon into the evening, and then it pulls northward. And some of that tropical moisture has a shot at reaching us by the time we get to Friday and Saturday ahead of an approaching cool front. It's not going to be a, an organized storm at that point, but some of the moisture may get pulled to the north and east. Overnight, things are quiet here, partly cloudy, warm and humid, upper 60s and low 70s, a hot day for tomorrow, a lot of humidity, and maybe that late day or evening storm popping up, the high tomorrow, 91 degrees. Tuesday's just hot and dry, maybe an isolated storm on Wednesday. Thursday's the hottest day of the week, and then rain chances increase Friday into Saturday. Maybe a little of that tropical moisture coming our way. Look at next Sunday, cooling down a little.